all present and accounted for. I'm so glad they can come up here and do all the things I took for granted. I don't want them frightened of the world. She's a beauty, isn't she? The story of Swallows and Amazons is of four children who go on holiday and decide they want to go off on an adventure. Their mum lets them sail off into the unknown, as Tatty says, to an undiscovered island. You can't imagine now letting children of that age go off on a boat to an island in the middle of the Lake District all by themselves. Here's to Swallow and all who sail in her. They sail off to this island, they set up camp. They find these two girls who, try, who are Amazon warriors. They declare that the island is theirs, and they decide that they are going to go to war to decide who's going to own the island. Give us back our island. I'm not frightened of you. Or the pirate who sent you. There's this mysterious, rather grumpy figure that they imagine him to be a pirate at the same time he's got these two shady men trying to find out information on him, trying to find him. The kids get involved in that story, and what starts off as make-believe turns into something very real. Why well, are you snooping through my things? This is not a game. I was a big fan of, of Arthur Ransom. I thought, OK, now I've got to do it. I've got to find a way of making this as a film. What was very important in the adaptation was to keep the very, very important thing that Arthur Ransom was concerned with about the spirit of adventure for children. The great thing about the children is that they've all bonded. Everyone is so lovely and we're having such fun. We all got on so well and sort of could talk so easily to one another. Filming in the Lake District was absolutely vital. We're on Lake Coniston and the views and stuff are amazing. The Lake District is one of the most stunning places in the world and I think it's wonderful that there's a film that has this huge kind of epic story to it but that it's something that children can go out and do. This challenge to ourselves now about how we bring up our kids, it was wanting to send a message from the past to the present to make us aware of another way of enjoying ourselves. They've got sailing and the water and adventure and hijinks. Strength and courage. You build that in children by allowing them to face fear. When we're children, when we see adult things going on, we're very aware of them. Kids are very attuned to fear and anger and danger. And there's a lovely message at the heart of it, which is things aren't, aren't always as they seem. And uh, that's a great lesson for, not just for children, but for, for all of us. Swallows forever.